Hi everyone, my name is Miss Brenda and today we're going to be learning how to paint a caterpillar. And you can see the picture right here. What we're gonna do is we want you to make sure that you have everything that you need. Uh, that would be your canvas. We have four colors of paint. You should have a green, a blue, an orange, and a yellow. You'll also notice that you've got a paintbrush. You will need a pencil. You'll need a bowl of water and a paper towel. So to get started, the first thing that we wanna do is open your blue paint. And with your paintbrush, I want you to get started painting the entire canvas with blue. And you may pause your video right now. Okay, if you've got your canvas painted all blue, but it's not quite dry, you need to pause the video now and wait for it to dry. If your canvas is dry, we can get started drawing your caterpillar. So you'll need to get your pencil and we're gonna take this step by step. The first thing that we're going to draw is the caterpillar's head. And you'll notice it's all the way over to the far right hand side and you're just gonna draw a circle. Just like that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is draw the caterpillar's body. And each section is an oval. So we'll take one step at a time, drawing the first oval shape. And you just connect it to the head. We're doing the next one, and notice it's a little taller than the first one. So this time we're going to go up a little bit and then come down. Because you notice he has an arch in, under his belly. We're going to do the third and fourth one, and both of them are about the same size, but they're taller than the one you just did. So we're gonna draw an oval and a second oval. Now we come to the last three and they start getting a little shorter. One, two, and three. Now we have our caterpillar. The next thing we're going to draw is his legs. He has eight legs. Just draw straight down the first two ovals and the last two ovals. Once you've got the legs, we're gonna draw the stem that he's standing on. So as you draw your stem, make it touch the legs. And the limbs are sort of squiggly, so it doesn't have to be completely straight. Once you get the one line drawn, draw a second line directly under it. Now we have our caterpillar. And at this point, we're not gonna do the eyes and nose. We'll do that after we've painted. So the next thing we're gonna do is start painting the head. So I need you to open your orange paint. Make sure your paintbrush has all that blue paint out of it. Wipe it onto your paper towel. And now paint the head orange. Just being very careful to stay in the lines. Now you may need a second coat of your orange, but we're going to let this one dry first. So while this one is drying, we're going to open your green paint. So clean your brush really well in your water. Again, wipe it with your paper towel and open your green paint. Now 
Now I want you to paint each of the sections of the caterpillar with your green paint. You'll notice there's some highlights of yellow on some of them. We'll do that after we've painted the entire caterpillar body with the green. So you can pause your video now and I'll see you in a few minutes. Hi everyone. So this is what your caterpillar should look like at this time. We've got the orange head and then we've got the green body. Now if yours isn't completely dry, pause your video now and I'll see you in a few minutes. If your caterpillar is dry, then we can move along. So what we're gonna do next is with your green paint, we're going to paint the stem at the bottom. So let's do that now. Make sure all the previous paints are off your brush and you're gonna paint green stem. Just take your time Make some long, simple strokes and go all the way across. And once we get our stem painted, we're gonna do some highlighting with our yellow. Okay, so now I want you to open your yellow paint. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mix a little bit of our yellow with our green and we're gonna make a lime green. So take your yellow paint and you can dip it a little bit into your green and just mix the two together. Doesn't matter if you put your yellow in your green or your green in your yellow, it doesn't matter. But you just wanna mix it up till you get a light lime green. Now with this lime green, we're going to highlight our caterpillar. And the way you do that is with your brush, starting at the top, and you kind of make a, like a C shape along the top of your caterpillar. And you don't have to do every one if you don't want to. Just give it a little bit of highlights. And if you want to give a little bit at the bottom, you can do the bottom as well. Okay, now with your lime green, while you've got it on your brush, you can also highlight your stem. So right at the top of the stem with your light green, just make a line all the way across. This just highlights that stem that the caterpillar is standing on. Now to clean your brush, we're gonna take our yellow paint and we're going to now make our antennas, our legs, our eyes, and our mouth. So dip your brush into your yellow paint after you've cleaned off all of your green. And make two yellow eyes. These are gonna be fairly large. Make circles with your brush. Okay, now once you've done that, you wanna make two antennas. And that is with your paintbrush, hold it straight up and down, and just go straight up and make two antennas. Now we're gonna do his mouth. And again, with your paintbrush straight up and down, make him smile. Okay, now, his legs, you've already got his legs drawn. So all you need to do is cover up those little straight lines with your pencil. It's come straight down. And there's your caterpillar. Now we're gonna give it a few minutes and then we're going to go over the yellow again in his eyes to darken them just a little bit 
and then we're going to add the green on top. So you can pause your video now and I'll see you in a few moments. Okay, and we are back. And you can see my caterpillar. And what I did is I did a second coat of orange for his head, and I did a second coat of a little bit of green to darken up his body. And then I let that dry, and I darkened his eyes a little bit. So if you would like to do that as well, then you can pause your video now, and I'll see you back in a few moments. But if you're happy with the canvas and the way that you've painted it, then we'll go ahead and get started on the eyes. Now, what we need to do is paint the dark green pupils right in the middle. So we wanna take your paintbrush and dab just a little bit of paint right on the end. And I want you to paint a circle right in the middle with your green paint. And if you want to give that a few minutes to dry and put a second coat on it, you can do so. Other than that, your caterpillar is completely done. So thank you for joining me today and happy painting.